Hello everybody and welcome to another Rental Tracks how to video. This time I'm going to be explaining how to use the new ShipStation module. Uh, so a lot of our clients requested uh, the ability to ship your products through uh, Rental Tracks. Uh, we looked at coding in shipping integrations, or sorry, coding shipping uh, capabilities directly into Rental Tracks. However, uh, we came across ShipStation and found that it is a great solution to give you flexibility. Uh, and we can integrate directly with them. So what you're looking at now is the ShipStation website, just www.shipstation.com. They actually took part in the Shark Tank uh, TV series and, uh, and did very well there. So the best part about ShipStation is we can tie directly into them and we give you the ability to work with all of the different platforms. So whether you ship through FedEx, UPS, DHL, uh, Canada Post, United States Postal Service, it doesn't matter. It's, it, it gives you the ability to do it through all of them. Uh, through one seamless integration. So I want to show you how to set up your integration with ShipStation and then how to uh, send your, your orders over as well. So first thing you're going to do is sign up for a ShipStation account. Uh, you're going to be given a new, your very own ShipStation representative that's going to work with you as well. So first thing you do is log in. Once you've created your account, it's going to ask you for your username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Make sure I remember my password. Great. So this is your ShipStation dashboard. You can see any of the insights of your orders are in here. Uh, all of your sales by stores are listed down here as well. Um, well first thing we want to do is set up a integration. So I'm going to select my account settings over here. Then on the left hand side I'm going to click on selling channels. Okay. This gives you the ability to connect to a store. First thing I'm going to do is click on connect a store or marketplace. You want to select the custom store option in the bottom right. Okay, we're going to select that for now. Once you click on that, you're going to enter in your username and password for your login as if you were logging into your Rental Tracks or YSOF account. So I'm going to enter in my information here. Down at the URL, the custom XML page, this is where you're going to put in your integration key, so your URL. So you can see here it looks like they've given you an example. What this is going to be is your, your login as if you were logging into Rental Trucks or YOSoft. So I'll type that in here. And then you're going to go slash shipstation xml.php. And you can click on the test connection button to make sure your connection works. If it didn't work, you'll see the error here. I believe that for our integration, you don't need to have the XML. I'm going to click test connection again and it looks like we're configured well. So just do shipstation.php instead of the XML. Once you've done that you can click on finish and it will connect your store. You'll see here I've already connected to my rental track store. Click on the connection. Make sure that my password and username are correct. And make sure I'm connected. Once you've done that, what's going to happen is you are able to import orders from Rental Tracks or Wiosoft into ShipStation. The way that you're going to do that is go into the orders. So if I select this order, 270, I can scroll down and see what products I've got associated. So here's the Healing Spaces book, a couple products, the packages. So a couple things to note about your products. Virtual products will not transfer over because they shouldn't be physical products. They're just virtual products like your setup fees, etc. So if you've used virtual products as a placeholder for rental products, you need to go back in and make your rental products uh, and add them to the order before you transfer it over. The next thing to remember is the package is going to send the pieces of the package over, not the package title. So we're only shipping physical products. The way that you're going to send the order over to ShipStation, you'll have a ShipStation tab if you've added the module to your account. When I click on that, I'm going to fill in some information. So the freight price is what I'm telling ShipStation I'm charging the client to ship their products. So you can enter that in here. So even if you get a quote from ShipStation that says it's going to cost $3.50, maybe you charge the client $9.99 for shipping. You're going to put that in here. You're going to type in the delivery method that you're going to ship and select from the drop down what the status of the delivery is. So if I select ready to ship, I'll be all set. The last thing I want to do is say active in ShipStation yes. When I click on that and save it, it automatically transfers this order over to ShipStation for me. So I'm going to go back in here, 
and I can see this order number 270 has been transferred over under my orders uh, under my orders tab. The way that you're going to make sure you've got all of the updated orders, there's a refresh button in the top right hand side, and I'm going to click on update all stores, and it will import all of the orders over for me. That's all you have to do. Click on this, and it uploads any order with the status active in ShipStation yes. To work inside of ShipStation, I'm going to click on this order. It's in my awaiting shipments. I click on the order number, and I can see a few different things. If it shows a global icon, that shows that this client is international, that you're shipping uh, internationally. If it shows a warning icon, that shows that this address has not been verified. And if it shows a home, then it shows that this address is correct. Okay, so it's been verified. The next thing you're going to do is see the product details over here under order items. So I can see the dollar value of them and the quantity of the pieces that we're shipping. And here's your order summary in the top left hand side. You can then select the service that you're going to use based on your drop down. So this is going to tie directly in with the rates that you're going to establish uh, when you're setting up your, your account with ShipStation. You can talk to your representative to, on how to better do that. So I'll select how I'm sending this. The packaging, my weights are already filled out. You can put in the size of your boxes here. Then I click on get rate. This is going to give me a rough idea. Well, this is going to give me, the, based on my rates, how much it's going to cost me to ship this order over here so I can go back and adjust my, my shipping paid amount. When I'm ready to click create a label, you can click on here to create the label. And you're going to be able to follow through the steps and create your label and set up your shipping. Okay, once you've done that, print it out and uh, and work with your shipping provider. So this is going to take some learning to go, go through ShipStation, make sure that you go through their videos, talk to your representative and learn how to use this. However, uh, like I said, the main benefits are the ability to use multiple services and carriers and integrate with our system to directly tie in. There's a couple things you need to know uh, on our side. Your products have to have a weight. So if you haven't entered in a weight value, for your rental products, then it will pop up with an error saying that that order cannot be transferred because you need to have a weight to determine the, the value of the shipment. The other thing is under your customers, when I look at my customers, ShipStation is very picky. They want to, when you have the state field, it has to be the two letter abbreviation. So if before you had Florida typed in, you're gonna to have to go back and edit that so that it has FL, so that it's correct. Make sure that your information is correct and you'll get a pop-up saying uh, whether or not the order can be transferred because of an error. And if it does, go back and edit that. And that's the shipping module. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of us by sending us an email to info at rentaltracks.com. You can always use the green support button on the right hand side or check us out on Facebook. Like us on Facebook to keep track of any updates or go to our website www.rentaltracks.com.